Hello friends, I am architect Sonu Rai from Green Landscape and Architectural Design Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss about ramps in Revit and I will uh, show you how we will create ramps using different methods. So I am going to my architecture tab and uh, we can see this ramp just above the stair command here and for creating ramps, basic ramps, I have uh, chosen one parking space like building here and if you go to your tree view this is my uh, parking space and i want to create uh, ramps just to understand how we will create ramps so uh, this is just one opening in the wall and which is located at three feet from the ground level the plank level is at three feet height uh, and uh, also this the here it is one opening and this is our first floor level so if you go to your elevation uh, mode any elevation mode you can see this ground level is at 0 feet green level is as 3 feet and first floor level is as 10 feet so i am going to create a ramp for from ground level to green level first to make you understand so i am going to ground level and i am going to select uh, a ramp here and these commands are almost similar like staircase this is for creating a sketch of a uh, ramp this is for defining boundaries and this is for creating a riser which we will understand later and I am going to select by default this run and this is this line will be used to create a straight ramps and this is for center and arc like curve like ramps so I am going to select this straight ramp first and I am going to properties of the ramp and I am going to select this base level as ground level and top level as print level so total height is three feet so as per uh, norms standard norms of the ramp we can we will require one is to ten or one is to twelve and in revit uh, by default it is one is to twelve so we, we, we will require total 36 feet of ramp length so uh, if you check here in edit type you can also uh, See this uh, maximum incline length in properties which is 36 feet so 12 into 3 the uh, ramp slope is 12 so this is 1 is to 12 if I am going to make it 1 is to 10 so this will be uh, 30 feet here so you can make 30 feet before and, and before making any creation uh, of the stairs and you can change the uh, materials and later on and text font also so I am going to make this 1 is to 10 30 feet total ramp length I am going to apply ok so now we will create from ground level to print level so I am going to create a ramp straight ramp and you can see 0 feet of inclined ramp created 30 feet remaining I am uh, bringing you closer close loop so uh, I'm going to select this till 30 feet and only our ramp will be formed properly otherwise it will show error so now I have uh, clicked outside just after finishing 30 feet and now it's showing 30 feet of inclined ramp created 0 feet remaining now our ramp length is created I'm going to finish this and now I'm going to move it further till our uh, building print level and now we can check in 3d view and we have successfully created a ramp length of 30 feet for making as per a standard of architectural uh, units uh, we need uh, 1 is to 10 or 1 is to 12 and accordingly you can change settings so total uh, is 30 feet length and we have reached this print level so uh, this is some basics way of creating ramp now i am going to create a spiral and arc ramp to reach to this print level as per your design so i am going to select this and now also the slope will be same you can check it in edit type this is 30 feet and slope is 1 is to 10 so I am going to click anywhere just to understand and uh, I will click uh, here yeah like this and now 
we will just finish this arc and 30 feet of inclined ramp created, 0 feet remaining. And uh, we can click in preview. So this is uh, orientation has changed. So we will not worry, we will go to our ground level and we will click here once and we will click on this arrow and now can easily change the orientation so you can see we have created a center and our staircase to the plinth level using a ramp command and uh, likewise also we can uh, do many more settings you can change railing by going to selecting railing and you can make glass panel or handrail pipe in the uh, two handrail pipe, you can all make it to rectangular guardrail. So, um, likewise, and I'm going to do some more settings here. I'm going to select this ramp, and you can go to this edit type, and you can do more settings like this. Same is thick. so for uh, creating this like this without any. Uh, solid shape here you can use thick and if you want to create solid shape in this ramp you will have to change the shape from thick to solid and you can apply and you can see both the ramps is solid now and uh, we can uh, in the text in uh, 2d and also you can change the ramp material so i am going to change this ramp material any other material like some tiles like thing and I'm going to use this terracotta and uh, apply so you can see our material is changed so likewise this is for just to understand and uh, or I suppose if you want to get for till first level uh, first floor level from its ground level so i am going to my ground level and uh, i will create a ramp straight ramp here i am going to a director and uh, ramp now i am going from ground level to top level which is first floor level and now we can take the length which is required this is 10 feet so from ground to first floor level it is total you can calculate from here elevation mode this is ground is 0 feet and this is at 3 feet and first floor level is 13 feet so uh, we have to calculate our ramp length accordingly so I am going to edit type and this is 10 so my total is 13 feet so I am going to multiply slope 10 by 13 so total 130 feet so I am going to apply ok so you have to make a ramp length of 30 feet you can uh, change the shapes of ramp also I am going to till here click once and now I am going to it is showing 52 feet of inclined ramp created, 78 remaining. So I am going to draw here and I am going to finish this. So this much of length of ramp is required 130 feet of inclined ramp created, 0 inch remaining. So I am going to finish this and we can drag this till here. And now we'll go to our preview and you can see we have created a ramp which is going from ground floor level till first floor level and because we have used solid shape so uh, we can change it to as per your preference 
can change to D. You can leave it for solid only as per your design. So this is the method to create ramps. So I am going to again our register tab. I am going to select this ramp. Now I am going to uh, make a different uh, ramps using landing command. Suppose I am going to create from ground level to plinth level. And um, I am going to click once. And if you want to create a landing, you have to hit once. And now you can make an angle like ramp. And the landing will be created automatically. You can see these two lines. And I am going to finish this. And now we will go to our default study view. And see this ramp is created and there is some landing like thing so you can use for any temple uh, like uh, the chair pathway or ramps and create uh, different types of shapes like this So uh, this is a little bit uncomfortable. So this is just to make you understand. You can create different shapes using this ramp command, and you have to hit once and leave. I'm going to till 10 feet on, uh, and I leave clicking once and leaving some gap. Again, I am going to any other directions. I am going to again 10 feet. And again, I am going to draw from here. So you can see it is automatically selecting its path in RAM. So these are the methods to create RAMs. And in the next video tutorial, I will discuss more about ramps in depth. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks.